Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. President Armenia Gabriel condolence speech on the death of Raymond Yezgelian. Eastern Armenia's response suggests to the peace treaty, MFA. The Genocide Museum in Yerevan has received more than 4,000 unique materials in recent years. A burial site dating back to the 3rd millennium BC was discovered in the area of the settlement Artanish 9. Alarm world culture is deviating by the destruction of Artsakh cultural heritage. The Grand Gevor Khan, winner of the Proti International Chess Tournament. President Mr. Armenak Abdrahamyan expressed his condolence on the death of Raymond Yezgelian. Raymond Yezgelian has built the Yezgelian residence in the Yerevan from the first years of Armenians' independence, which was a favorite place for many tourists, including guests from France. His humanitarian initiatives also greatly contributed to the support and education of soldiers, students and families in Jordan Artsakh Front. The President of the Nation Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabdahamyan, expressed his deep condolences on the death of Raymond Yezgelian. He recalled Yezgelian's great contribution in the fields of patriotism and charity, emphasizing his sincere devotion and love for the Armenian nation. President Abrahamian sent his deepest condolences to Raymond's family and relatives, noting that the loss of Yezgelian is a great pain for the entire Armenian people. Eastern Armenians' response proposals to the peace treaty are in the stage of development. Ani Badalian, spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, informed this. Response proposals are being developed for the conclusion of a peace agreement in a short period of time in accordance with the principal proposal that has already been voiced by us, said Ani Badalian. On 26 June, Security Council Secretary Armen Grikurian said that Eastern Armenia received 10 packages of recommendations from Baku regarding the peace treaty. The Genocide Museum Institute in Armenia hosted the presentation on more than 4,000 names of materials received in the next three volumes and scientific periodicals of the memoirs of Armenian genocide survivors. The director of the Genocide Museum Institute in, in Armenia, Edita Gazoyan, informed that uh, two issues of the scientific periodicals Journal of Genocide and International Journal of Genocide Committed Against Armenians studies published last year were included in the presentation, as well as the regular volumes of the series of memoirs of genocide survivors and two scientific works published in Russian and French languages. They include, for example, original photographs taken during both the genocide against Armenians and the Hamidian massacres. There are also quite a large number of photos related to the event that happened in Artsakh. The photos of the French-Armenian photographer Arshak Max Sivaslian are also part of them, which represent episodes from both in 1992 and in 2016 Artsakh wars. Some of the pictures are yet not published. The archaeological exhibitions continued in the Artanish 9 ancient site between Shogagat and Artanish settlements of Chambara community in Gerarkunik region. This archaeological exhibition started from July 2024 and gave interesting and new discoveries, supplementing and enriching the results of the exhibition carried out in 2023. As our members informed, an early Bronze Age settlement and burial ground were discovered in the ancient site, which dates back to the first half of the 3rd millennium BC. In 2015, our expedition carried out work in the area of this hill, discovering the Artanish 9 ancient site containing extremely important and rich archaeological materials, the exhibition that we started in 2020. Both last year and this year's exhibitions have produced excellent results. It should be emphasized that this is the only ancient site exhibited on the northeastern shore of Lake Sevan, which belongs to the last stage of the Gurarax culture, dating back to the 3rd millennium BC. The Middle Bronze Age tomb was also opened by the expedition where three well-preserved human skeletons were recovered along with the bones of domestic animals. Exhibitions in the area of the Artanishna monument will continue in the coming year. Armenian cultural heritage is endangered in Artsakh. Baku destroys it, reports the Catholic Agency of Austria, referring to the professor of Armenology at the University of Salzburg, Yasmin Dum Tragut. An interview with an Armenian expert on the topic was published in the Vienna Church newspaper. According to Dum Tragut, in peace time, Baku destroyed 28,000 Armenian cultural monuments. And what is happening in Artsakh now, we don't exactly know, because there is no privilege to enter there. Only satellite photos can show. 
Dam Tragutan for said that the cultural heritage of Artsakh is important not only as a Christian witness but as a world cultural value. The 7th Putin Intonation Chess Festival, Nana Alexandria Cup Intonation Chess Tournament, ended in Putin, Georgia, which was held in different rating and age groups. In Group D, the Grand Gavorkian won the tournament, scoring 7 points out of 9 possible. And the boys under 8, Manvel Vartanyan won, scoring 7 up to 5 points out of 9 possible. This was all for today. Goodbye.